random, a sequence of events that occur unpredictably. They happen without logic or order. They offer no promise and give us no choice. If we take something that's seemingly random, yet give it an area to exist, does it become somewhat predictable, yet still random in its outcome? If we assign a range of possibilities, then the space we allow these random events to occur may start to fall into more deterministic patterns. Random amounts of probability distribution create natural order within our world and in the sounds we hear. Algorithms mimic random events. A seemingly endless yet finite amount of possibilities are a paradox of true randomness. Used within our music systems, they help us to create more natural, evolving patterns and movements outside of linearity. Having a range to work with allows us to become the keepers of this universe, yet break us free from the certainty of it. Noise ring was something of an enigma for me at first, but slowly opened up its nature and become a useful tool in creating natural, organic movements within my sequencing. By taming its range and asserting parameters for it to work within, the noise ring's beauty opens up and is a useful tool for creating music beds awash with a more natural feeling. The rigidness of sequences break down and new patterns emerge. The noise ring was designed by Grant Richter as part of his weird modular system. This man certainly knows his random. Having also designed the Wogglebug, he is the father of two of the modular world's most iconic random generators. This version was released in conjunction with Maleco Heavy Industries and mutated into the Eurorack format. Feeding the noise ring's clock out into the reservoir starts to ping the Schwemann's filters. Increasing the rate shifts its output from delicately placed pings to aggressive audio rate tones. These tones can be shaped by the Schwemann's filters. Turning up the external audio rate allows the noise ring's internal random generators to be fed into its clock. Chance and change give us control over the amount of possibilities that will happen within the noise ring's internal shift registers. Pushing the clock into audio rate levels, different pitches and timbres begin to take shape at its output. Sending the noise ring's variable stepped outputs into the frequency inputs of the reservoir, they start to modulate the filter frequencies. Non-linear rhythmical structures can quickly be achieved when leaving these settings at lower clock rates. The sounds of water droplets appear in a zen-like fashion. Lowering the clock rate produces natural rhythms yet still the mechanical nature of its pseudo-random network embedded within. The Schwermann's filters sure do pair well with the noise ring's clock output pinging them. Not all clocks are the same, some more beautiful than others. Here the noise ring is the driving force behind this patch. Externally clocked by the rotating clock divider, yet also being fed into the divider's rotation input, creates ever-changing yet tempo lots rhythms. Chance and change allow for repetition or constant movement. Both the noise ring's outputs are attenuated due to their wide ranges. With Channel 1's output being quantized into a musical scale, the Tycho produces toy-like melodies. Further movements over the Tycho's wave shape and release times are also being driven by the noise ring's variable stepped outputs. The surge variable slope filter and the Sarajevo analog delay provide some warmth and color to the patch. Utilizing the random nature of the noise ring, more dynamic patching is easily achieved. And when placing the noise ring under control, its musical phrase has become hypnotizing.
Here we unleash the noise ring from all control. Random evolving tempo, rhythms and modulation becomes wild and untamed. The noise ring constantly leading us into new and different directions, some never to be heard again. An ever-changing conversation between the user and the system plays out. Locking in chance and change give us areas to take a breath and find some respite from the unruly nature of its network. Yet it still playfully introduces sharp turns and keeps us constantly guessing. Moments that come and go are easily lost as quickly as they are found. Captured only once in a lifetime. I'd like to thank Grant Richter for his wonderful designs and the enjoyment I have using this module and the others that he has created. May they long reign supreme. <laughs>